This is Danny Blythe from the College of Integrated Chinese Medicine looking at acupuncture points on the hands in relation to bones. Uh, please pause and read this. This is for acupuncture students only. So we've already met the carpals, the wrist bones. We've got the metacarpals in the palm and um, beyond the wrist bones. And we've got the phalanges in the fingers, um, which are like soldiers lined up in neat formation. So there are five metacarpals numbered from the thumb one through five and each of the fingers has a proximal a middle and a distal phalanx apart from the thumb which doesn't have a middle one and each of these bones has a proximal base and a distal head and the points are found where these heads start to flare or where the bases start to flare out, so the natural kind of bumps in the bones. So the nail points, which are the last point on the yin channels, the first point on the yang channels, are found at the flare of the base of the distal phalanx, where this bone base flares out just before it becomes the interphalangeal joint. You can um, also find them by drawing a vertical and a horizontal line outlining the nail and the intersection of these two lines is where the nail points are and it's about 0.1 sun from the nail itself. So you can remember them by making this slightly odd shape and remembering that they're on the radial um, side of these shapes going from superficial to deep organs so lung, pericardium, heart and opposite them is their paired organ. So we have the lung and opposite the large intestine, the pericardium and the triple burner, and finally the heart and the small intestine. So here they are again. At the flare of the base of the proximal phalanx, following down we've got large intestine 2, small intestine 2, both at the junction of the red and the white skin on the kind of edges of the hand, and then triple burner 2. So at the metacarpals we've got heart 8 at the flare of the head, pericardium 8 at the flare of the head and we feel through from the dorsal aspect and then pinch through and turn the hand over. And we've got small intestine 3, large intestine 3 and triple burner 3 at the flare of the heads on the dorsal aspect. We've got lung 10 at the midpoint of the first metacarpal and we've got large intestine 4 at the flare of the base. It's actually it more in the muscle than I've put it here, but it's at the flare of the base of this meta, uh, metacarpal. So the change of skin tone and colour, we've got small intestine 2 and 3, lung 10, large intestine 2 and 3, and between the bone and their abductor muscles we've got large intestine 3, small intestine 3, and lung 10. So on the palm we have heart 8, pericardium 8 and lung 10. And from the dorsal view we can just see small intestine 3, triple burner 3 and on the edge large intestine 3 passing through 4. So we have a few useful extra points. Uh, at the flare of the head of MC3 is a point called low gen fall from the pillow which is used for crick neck this is on the dorsum of the hand so on the palmar aspect of the hand we've got lao gung which is pericardium 8 and on the dorsal aspect we've got low gem which is sometimes called Y um, lao gung the outer pericardium 8 um, just distal to where uh, the the MCs um, meet We've got two extra points between MC2 and 3 and between MC4 and 5. We've got two extra points called Yao Tong Shui, which is back pain points used for acute backache. So the Yao Tong Shui points are found midway between the knuckles and the wrist crease, in between the two metacarpals of 2, 3, and 4, 5. And um, just distal to where they where these bones meet and they're moving points the, you feel for the most tender spot along this area and needle that 
tender spot. Um, low gen is found opposite where you would find pericardium 8 at the flare of the head of um, the third metacarpal. And finally, we've got 0.1 sun from the tip of the nails, right on the tips of the fingers. We've got the shushuan points, the 10 spreadings. So a couple of other landmarks. We've got the proximal transverse crease and the distal transverse crease. And um, heart eight is gonna be between the two. We've also got the interphalangeal creases in the fingers. And the extra point Sufeng, the four seams, is found at the proximal interphalangeal crease, or if there are two, the deepest of the creases. A um, couple of safety issues on the palm. Um, be careful with deep or vigorous ne needling. Remember that you've got the um, deep and the superficial palmar arches running through that area. A couple of things to remember with large intestine four, it's a very big point with a lot of varied locations. It's usually between the seam of the two dorsal interosseous muscles. Um, if you needle too close to the junction of the metacarpals, um, be aware of the artery that, that um, is deep to that area. And if you're too close to the bone, um, be aware of the um, superficial nerve.